Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Tuesday, May 15th, 2018. Uh, for the most part, today it rained all day long. And uh, it's cleared up now, which is nice, but uh, a lot of rain today. So today was a uh, paperwork day here at the homestead. Had a lot of paperwork to do. Um, so before I want to get before I get into the video and talk about the topic, I want a couple things real quick. Um, Legacy is doing a huge sale right now. Two of their uh, main selling items they have greatly reduced. If you go to my website, they're going to be right on the main page. You'll see them, and they're they're uh, it's a very very nice sale uh, for both of those products. So if you're interested, um, please go check out the website. The link will be down below. They're also, Legacy is doing 20% uh, off of everything. So obviously for my website, um, I'm matching that. Whatever Legacy is doing, I'll match whatever they're doing. So that's what's uh, happening there. So if you're interested and you want to get some Legacy food, freeze-dried food, um, go to the website, which will be in the link below, which is PrepperNurse1.com, and uh, order from us right there. And like I said, we got the discounts there. And I also put the discounts on all the merchandising too. So... Any merchandise that you're interested in, it's also going to be 20% off, okay? So, that being out of the way, uh, puppies did very, very well last night, and uh, they adjusted real well. They uh, slept through most of the night. They started whining at about 5 this morning, and we got them up, and Heather and I brought them out, and uh, they used the toilet, and then we brought them right back in, and they went right back to sleep. So, uh, they're doing very, very well, and... Uh, they're very cute, obviously. Okay, so let's get into the topic of today's video. Um, I wanted to talk about, and this was a requested video, just so you know. It wasn't something that I thought up, and hey, this would be a great idea. Somebody had asked me to do this topic, and so I wanted to present it all to you. What were you going to do in a post-event if somebody in your group absolutely loses it and goes crazy? Uh, will you be able to put that person down? Okay. And when I say crazy, like off the off the rails, just completely nuts, uh, irrational, you know, uh, not able to take care of themselves, or they're a danger to themselves and other people. Um, look at, I got my. What are you doing? Um, are you going to be able to put that person down? Now that's a tough one because it's like if it's a, you know. If it's a close family member, and, and I think for me personally, it would depend on the severity of what was going on with them. I mean, if they were, you know, like I said, if they were a danger to themselves and other people, you know, you might have to. Um, it would be a very difficult thing. I don't think is a, is a direct member of your family, like if it was, uh, you know, one of your children. I mean, if one of the kids completely lost it. I couldn't, I know myself personally, I could not put one of my own children down. I could not do that. So, um, you know, but like I said, if they were a danger to themselves and other people, it might be a necessity. And uh, so you might have to delegate that to somebody else. And, uh, you know, I would be able to, like I said, for somebody else, I could do that if I had to. Um, you know, not that I would want to. It's not a pleasant thought. It's not something that you want to think about having happen. But the reality is mental stability is not going to always be there for everyone in a post-event. Uh, you know, I, luckily enough, my kids are very strong-willed like me, so I really don't worry about them. But, uh, you know, you don't know how other people are going to react or how, you know, any of us are going to react in a post-event. If it's like a worst case scenario. Now we're talking worst case scenario, guys. We're not talking about natural disasters. We're talking worst case scenario of something going wrong. And uh, how how is that going to be as far as that goes? So um, that's, that's what I want you to think about. Like if it's, uh, you know, some kind of war or sickness or, uh, you know, something to that effect that happened, uh, you know, plague or whatnot, you know. And it affected everybody worldwide. Or if there's a power outage and a power is not going to ever come back on again. You know, those type of things. And uh, so those are the things that I want you guys to, when you're thinking of this topic, that's what I want you to correlate it with. We're not talking about just a minor glitch that could be a couple of weeks and then everything's going to be fine. But uh, people are not going to handle it well. And so that is, that is definitely something, you know, and everybody's different. So, I mean, 
The question that I would impose to you guys is, would you be able to if you had to? And, and like I said, if it was somebody very, very close to me, family-wise, I don't think that I could, honestly. Um, you know, but uh, if they were a true menace in danger, then somebody would have to. So, um, I don't know if anybody's ever seen the movie of Mice and Men with Lenny and George. Uh, you know, George had to put Lenny down. And it broke his heart to have to do it, but he knew he had to do it. Because, you know, it just uh, it had to be done. But so I mean, and that it's that same 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 that same type of situation, tongue tied. So you know, that's what you that's, that's kind of what I want you to think about. You know, and put it into that kind of a context. Uh, it would not be an easy thing to do. So, um, like I said, personally, I there's no way like with my mom or um, you know somebody like that I could do that. Uh, if it was somebody that was in the group. You know, otherwise, I, I probably would be able to if I had to. Um, you know, that would obviously, it wouldn't be just my decision alone at that point. That would be a group decision. So, it's not like I decide, okay, you live and you die. You know, that's not what I'm talking about. Um, that would be something that would have to be discussed amongst the rational people in the group. So, you know, th th that's what you got to think about. And uh, so, I definitely want your feedback on that and what you guys think. And, uh, what, what, you know, what, what would you do? That, that's kind of the, the premise of this whole video is what would you do? Would you be able to do that mercy killing if you had to? Or if, if somebody was so sick or if they were ate up with cancer? I mean, we could even go that route, too, if you want to, as far as this topic goes. And they were suffering. Now, that in that situation, I could definitely do it. Absolutely, without a doubt. Um, I have watched way too many people die. I have watched way too many people suffer needlessly because of religion and other reasons. And uh, I just, I think that uh, if there's absolutely no hope for somebody, that uh, they, you know, should be able to have that option. Uh, you know, if there's absolutely no way, there's no chance that they're going to get better, and, you know, they should have that option to uh, bow out at the end. But uh, that's just my opinion as far as that goes. But anyhow, so like I said, um, everything is greening up here really, really nicely at the homestead. It's really, green is taking over. Everything's growing nicely. Like I said, we've had quite a bit of rain. Like I said, it rained. What time did it start raining last night, Hav? About five. About five this morning? Yeah, like <laughs> what are you guys doing? What you doing? Yeah. They're too cute, just so you guys know. They're way too cute. Good puppies. Good puppies so far. And uh, we just brought them out, and the first thing they did again, went to the bathroom. And I did take the one subscriber's advice, just so you guys know. Um, they said bring them over to the same spot every day for like a couple of weeks and then before you know it when you bring them out they're just going to automatically go there so i bring them out over into this area which we really don't utilize so if they go to the bathroom over there we don't care and uh oh my god look at them playing she is very aggressive she was the runt so but she is very aggressive i think she's going to be the boss of him what do you think I know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so we're going to do that with that area over here for them, and hopefully that will work, so I appreciate that. Uh, the other comments that people had made about, uh, I think what I am going to do is I'm going to probably get her fixed, but not him. Um, and uh, people say, well, he's going to run off and all this type of stuff. I, I'm pretty sure, I mean, I had my, I had a, um, a Rottweiler that uh, was male that I did never, I never got him fixed, and uh, he's over there doing his business now. But um, I never got him fixed, and uh, he was fine. I mean, he was, he was a very good, very good dog. She's hanging out with Dad. Yeah. Hi, Heather. Hi. How's my darling daughter? Good. Almost done with all your test for school. Mm -hmm. Excited? Yeah. Good. Alright guys, so that's it for the video. Um, thank you for all the comments on the pups. That's appreciated. They're Like I said, they're going to be a nice addition to the homestead. And uh, 
a lot of training coming up, lots of training. But uh, they're, they're doing very, very well. And uh, so we'll see what happens. But uh, remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow's not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. And the only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. And that's the reality of it. Nobody can stop you but you. So if you want to get forward in life, do it. Don't listen to negative people. They want to keep you down at their level. So that's important. Okay. And I will talk to you all tomorrow. I hope your week is starting out well. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Prepper Nurse One, out for now. And just like, look at her with the puppy. And I got the other girls right here by my feet. Oh, there she is.